What's going on guys? Matt Schaefer back here with another Mosaic radar and laser integration job for you. This one in a brand new Tesla Model Y. So let's get right to it. And hopefully you don't hear that wind noise. It is very windy here right now. We are uh, a coastal town, so sometimes it gets pretty windy here. But let's check out the front. We in this one did a Escort Max CI 360. Uh, this is for a repeat client, had the same system in his Tesla Model 3, just bought a Y, so wanted to put this uh, in here to again fly under the radar so let's get to the front as you can see the makeup of the front consists of three sensors in this specific install again escort for the shifters in the front we have two pods on either side and then we have a license plate frame with a pod right underneath the license plate so it's flush with the license plate and um, again, it's a complete frame. So if this plate comes off and he gets a different setup, this will still uh, act and sit flush on the front end of the car. So we have one shifter here in the center, two shifters on the side, and they reside behind IR acrylic, which is a light transmitting acrylic. The light can come through that piece of plastic there with very to little, no uh, dissipation of signal. Uh, it's like two to six percent on average depending on where you actually source the IR acrylic from so test absolutely great with the dragon eye gun that we have again three diffusers there in the front I can overlay a picture of the radar head receiver it's right here underneath the taillight basically the highest spot we can get it inside the bumper and then we also have a the GPS signal which is right here behind the bumper. I can overlay a picture of how we did that behind the bumper. Now, as far as the rear goes, instead of doing the two pods on either side, we elected to do the license plate frame. Now, it's always a little bit more difficult when you have a metal trunk lid. You know, sometimes the license plate is actually mounted into the bumper, which is plastic, right? So uh, modifying that bumper becomes very easy because in order to do this, we have the two uh, shifters up here. We have to notch out the area to absorb that depth. So down here, it would be way easier in traditional cars with a bumper like your, you know, some BMWs, uh, things of that nature. In this case, it's a metal trunk lid. So we did have to notch out the two areas behind uh, this plate frame here. But they're very clean cuts, they're primed, they're all sealed so water cannot obviously get back there and again the frame and everything hides it so we have our magnetic license plate design frame here that we design in-house there are magnets as you can see border around the frame we have our two shifters up at the top again using escort since we're doing the 360 system and then you can see the ir acrylic so that whole face is basically IR acrylic and we raster uh, engrave in the acrylic and keep the paper on and basically paint the spots that you see there so that whole frame is IR acrylic and then obviously that's where the license plate goes that's our dummy frame and uh, we have our cutouts on the back there as you can see to have the sensors open to the signal transmission. So your plate bolts right into that spot there. Factory bolts uh, here mount it to the car in the factory position so none of that is modified. Plate frame just snaps back on like that. And there's great pull force. So again, it's not like that's gonna fly off in the wind or anything like that. Now, as far as the inside goes, um, hopefully you can see it's going to be tough because I do have a polarizer on the front of this camera. So um, trying to get a good spot where you can see it. So we have the escort display made in this pod, which is resides right under, underneath the MCU display. It's a fully enclosed pod, matte black matches the trim in the car. And then of course the smoked acrylic. So that's going to look like it's a built-in option from the car. So somebody putting their head in here it's not like again most other places you would see this display just double side sticked to you know random parts of the car up here around here to where it's obvious somebody looking in that there is a system installed we 
almost on all the cars we do, I like to do the stealth integration to where you look at the car, you come around the car, and unless you know what it is because you've been informed, you're not going to know that this wasn't supposed to be here based on the execution and design matching everything else you see there. Even that lip is very reminiscent of the lip that we added to the bottom of this display. As far as the controller, again, taking the stealth approach, you would open this. Now you have this little platform. This is what we put there. Alcantara top engraved with a little bit of uh, design elements. You pull that off. It's magnetic, as you can see on the back. Two magnets there, magnets there, and basically the cutout for the controller. Now the front of this has two magnets to work and hold that uh, cover when you are using this. Now, you really don't need to use this. Once it's set, it's set. Uh, you really don't have to mess with this other than say the mute button, which you can even put an external mute button in if you wanted to. Um, so for the most part, this just stays over top. Again, you heard it snap in and it looks 100% factory. So again, somebody looking at this car, you're not gonna have any idea that there's a system in this car. Of course, with every system that we do, we have a kill switch. As you can see, I just turned it off. So now it looks like a, again, a factory extension of that MCU. Really have no idea what's going on um, looking at these interior components. So with that being said, again, this is the Escort Max CI 360. And uh, if you're new to the channel or new to these videos, radar and laser has changed way Radar and laser has changed a lot since the late 90s, early 2000s. Obviously, you have a lot of different cars out there that have collision avoidance, adaptive cruise control, autopilot, lane-to-lane -lane assistance. So these are cars that use different radar frequencies in order to sense things on the road. So filtering has become so necessary in today's radar and laser detectors. That's why we like to use the Escort. In my opinion, the Escort has some of the best radar filtering of all the different units on the market. Redenzo is also very good. So these are the units we like, so you can drive around without the car falsing. Uh, you can segment a lot of the different bands that are out there, uh, especially tailoring it to the location that you live. That way you can make this thing quiet and anytime that you actually get some sort of an alert, you know it's a legitimate alert. Also, why do we do the integrated radar and laser detectors? Obviously, when it comes to laser, you can't do a dash mount unit. A dash mount unit will tell you if you're getting hit by laser, but it can't do anything to protect you against laser, right? So once you're hit with laser or LIDAR, you're screwed. The cop already has the uh, receive signal and he already knows your speed. So the dash mount radar detectors aren't going to do anything to help you against laser. Yes, they can help you against radar. They're unsightly. Obviously, it looks like something, you know, attached to the dash. It's going to be obvious what's in the car, whereas this is an integrated approach. You also have a front and rear receiver that are on the outermost parts of the car. So those are going to work with a little bit more range. Um, but like I said, the laser you need to have the diffusers or shifters on the front of the car in order to actually protect you against the guns that are out there. For most cars, you at least need three to defeat or have any chance to protect yourself against, say, the Dragon Eye gun, which, you know, we utilize the Dragon Eye in all our testing. We also have a Pro Laser 3 that we use quite frequently, um, whereas obviously the Dragon Eye is gonna be the hardest gun to defeat. Okay, so right when I get on the road here, we're about to get hit by Dragon Eye, and uh, you'll see how the system interacts. So right now, I'm driving up. You can see the display there. Hopefully, you can see it from the polarizer. And right there, you see it shifting. He's up there shooting right past that mailbox up there. And as you can see right now, it's shifting for about four or five seconds or so and then it lets itself up. Um, that way, as you get closer, you have the amount of time to slow down and then the cop can get a reading on the physical gun. So 
that kind of gives you a broad understanding of these systems and how they work. If this is, again, your first time seeing these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the alert notification bell. That way you're notified anytime we drop a new video. Uh, if you're interested in radar and laser, check out all the other playlists that we have of radar and laser jobs. We've done them in a ton of different cars. So you can kind of see our take and how we integrated them in each individual car. Also, if you're in audio, that's kind of the, uh, I would say the core of what we do as a company. We do high-end audio systems, obviously. Radar and laser integration is a product of the fabrication and the integration that we do on the audio side. But we are an audio-based company to make cars like this, a Model Y, sound unbelievable like a reference studio. So check out the other audio videos that we have as part of the builds as well. If you wanna contact me for a build, here is my email address followed by my phone number. These are the two best points of contact. For me, if you need to get a hold of me regarding a job. Also, make sure you check out our TikTok. I do a lot of uh, little in progress build videos and things like that with each job that we have in the bay. Let's go ahead and check that out. Also, Instagram, here are our three handles. Uh, at the real Matty S is my personal and probably the most frequently used regarding the work that you see here on the channel. And finally, check out our website. It has the full collection of all the radar and laser jobs that we've done. Uh, just go to mosaicdesign.com, you have the radar tab, and then that'll bring open all the different OEM stealth jobs that we've done. So you can see things. Uh, instead of looking through YouTube, you can see all the build log pictures, and of course all the YouTube videos are attached to each individual job on the website. It's probably the best way to find out all the different things that we've done. So go ahead and check that out. And like always guys, I appreciate the feedback, I appreciate the support, and until next time.